What's up guys? I'm Josh Mosman from Motocross Action Magazine. Today we are at Paris. We got the whole track rented out to ourselves and this bike is the third bike of our three bike shootout. In this video we're going to only talk about this bike though. It is a KTM 150 two-stroke owned by Pasha Afshar. Now Pasha, he's the guy that's putting up big money for two-stroke races here in Southern California. And he spends a lot of his own hard-earned money building these exotic bikes and he has three KTM 150s with three different engine tuners all using the same parameters parameters on their bikes. <laughs> this build we got Terry Varner here. Varner engines have been doing James Stewart's engines from when he was on a mini bike and won you said half of his championships at Loretta's. Mm -hmm. All of Michael Lessie's engines from when he was a mini bike rider up and until Jeff. and Jeff until they turned pro. Terry Varner got this engine with your experience of years and years of building two strokes. All those years where Michael Lessie was beating Ryan Villapoto in the mini bike ranks he was on Terry Varner engine. So very impressive. Now today we're testing this Varner built KTM 150 exotic bike. It's got the black front frame, Cerakoted swing arm, but the parameters that are the same across all three bikes, flex handlebars, gut seat covers, Hoosier tires, FMF pipe and silencer, it's got the Billitron carburetor. All three bikes are running Sunoco fuels and recluse torque drive clutches. So a lot of the main components that put the motorcycle together are the same, and then they hand the engine to you and you say, hey, I'm going to build the best thing I can. So even down to the sprocket, we're running the same sprockets. This bike particularly liked a little bit taller gearing and the Billitron seems to be spot on as well as the FMF pipe and that. The direction that we went was just to strengthen the mid-range and make it pull harder without sacrificing any top or any bottom. The valves that are in this cylinder are a you know very efficient. They work well so when they're closed they're closed and and that makes for um, better power and our forte is porting the cylinder. We've been doing that for a while. It's a three port exhaust and that's really where you know you're gonna make the biggest change to the power bands. Are you excited to put your bike head to head against uh, Hassaker and Twisted Development? Absolutely, absolutely. Nothing but respect for the other two uh, engine builders and you know I feel I have an unfair advantage because I've been grinding since 1979 so but that's okay you know we'll go easy on them. <laughs> <laughs> I like it yeah. good stuff we're gonna take this bike out on the track see how it works and then see how it works against the competitors as well so let's do it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Good times today at Paris Raceway on the third bike of our three bike shootout video. This is the Terry Varner built engine. It's Pasha's KTM 150 two stroke and I had a lot of fun riding it today. We had four different test riders rotating throughout the day, but I was the one that got to ride this bike for all the photos and videos you guys saw. I was in FXR gear just a little bit ago. Terry Varner, he's got a long history building two strokes. I was very impressed with this bike. This is the first time actually that I've ever ridden a Varner built engine and uh, this KTM 150 two stroke was extremely, extremely fast. There are specific parameters that Pasha restricted the three engine builders to. Pasha reached out to Pro Circuit. He reached out to other engine builders and Mitch Payton said, hey, I'm not interested. I haven't tested with Billitron carburetors. I haven't tested with Sunoco fuels. I'm not ready to put my bike up in a shootout without proper testing. And that's, that's fair. Kudos to Mitch Payton. The rest of these engine builders, Varner, Hassaker, and Twisted Development, although they were, they were getting used to the parameters, they had to do some testing and trying. They all got used to it and uh, they all made it work. Terry Varner, he's built engines for Pasha in the past and this thing, it was a screamer today. This bike also has ESR suspension and I have ridden with ESR suspension before and I was impressed with how that handled on the track as well. So Terry's engine, man, like I mentioned, extremely strong. I was impressed with how filled in it was was at the bottom and through the, the bottom connecting into the mid-range but once you got into the top end this bike continued to pull it did not give up the ghost easily so I was very impressed with how this Terry Varner built engine worked as for the ESR suspension a couple of our test riders said that uh, it was a little bit on the softer side but I was actually impressed with how it worked today on the track I have complained about it in the previous two episodes of this series the flex bars are too tall and too flexible for motocross riding and for a pro like me but yes I would shoot I would actually like them off-road racing if you're going to have some uh, hard pack chop but this Pasha KTM 150 very exotic motorcycle we're excited that Pasha put together this cool shootout for us and uh, three different bikes with three different engine builders but a lot of the same parts around it so I've raced a lot with Michael Essi and he's always on Yamaha's built by Terry Varner many of them have been built by Varner and I've always been extremely impressed with Alessi's ability to get the whole shot year after year at Glen Helen for the world two stroke championships even though KTM KTM has a stronger platform to start off with than Yamaha does and already horsepower ahead. Varner gets crazy horsepower out of those Yamahas. So now that I rode his KTM 150 spec engine, I can understand why he's so good on the Yamahas as well. So he spends a lot of time on these engines and he's got a lot of experience. Pasha, thanks for having us. Paris Raceway, thanks for having us. We started here early and we're shutting the place down. A lot of fun, but we still have one video left in this series. So if you haven't watched the first two, we got a Jim Hassaker built KTM 150 150 from Pasha. That was the first episode. Then we had a Twisted Development built KTM 150 from Pasha. That's the second video. This is the third video of our series. This is the Terry Varner built KTM 150. And coming up next is our three bike KTM 150 shootout. Very excited to share that with you guys. We had a lot of fun going crazy here. We have Paris all to ourselves. <laughs> So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.